we decided to link Rachmaninoff and Chopin on this disc for so many reasons. I think everybody knows that uh, Rachmaninoff's performances of Chopin were absolutely on the highest possible level. And one of the reasons for that would be that Rachmaninoff himself admired Chopin and his style of composition was absolutely um, influenced by Chopin. Rather obviously so, I think, very often. So what we decided to do was link two of the most famous and widely played works of Chopin, the two sonatas, numbers two and three, with the Rachmaninoff variations on the theme of Chopin. The theme of the variations is one of Chopin's preludes, but it has very much the same kind of sombre nature, funereal almost, as the Funeral March Sonata of Chopin. Um, and Rachmaninoff has this incredibly great genius of um, building a set of variations to the most fantastic finale out of this very sombre basic sound world and basic mood, which it continues in for quite some time. But then it's as if the sun comes out and the final few variations are so incredibly ecstatic uh, in a way that only Rachmaninoff could do, I think. And the finale, with, with, with one final touch, the finale is actually a polonaise with the obvious relationship with Chopin. Having already done a kind of homage to Chopin uh, by having a variation in waltz form. And the, the whole thing just comes together in such a wonderful way and I cannot for the life of me imagine why the Chopin variations of Rachmaninoff are not better known and more frequently played because his solo music generally is rather often played. But the, um, this, this one has, has been suffering from neglect really ever since he wrote it, I think. Uh, so to put this piece together with these two extraordinarily universally accepted masterpieces of Chopin is a real privilege. Um, and so we've had a wonderful time recording them and the sound world that um, they share has been incredibly interesting to explore and, and very rewarding. Thank you very much.